Good morning. Good morning and welcome back to another vlog from Midlife Van Life because we are in our midlife and we are doing van life so title really says good, it all pretty good name really it's strike day and we actually want to go and see what's going on and do a bit of a protest well maybe we could march with them because we actually believe in this stuff it's government overreach which is what they're actually protesting about and the protests here are pretty big at the moment the french are pissed and i can understand that so we're going to have a, a, a little investigation now i've got my new haircut as you can see i'm looking human again he had a spa experience at his barbers <laughs> It's very exciting. <laughs> Normally, it's a very, very quick. Yeah, but I actually sat in a massage chair. It was superb. I've never had that experience. Hotel treatments. I mean, whoo! Could get used to that. But anyway, we've got the dogs, and we've got something new to show you as well, haven't we, Charlotte? What have we got that's new? Well, Coco has decided in the last week or so that. She's getting a bit older and she doesn't actually like walking very much so rather than carrying her I have crossed the line and become a crazy dog lady. <coughs> they now have a push chair. Something I swore I would never have. I am getting some odd looks <coughs> but you know what? My dog is comfortable. I don't have to carry her. She doesn't have to get hot being carried and she lays down and acts like a queen. Anyway, should we get going? Yep. Well, as usual, they don't do things by hard. They let people know when they're not happy. They don't sit on their asses in their houses going, oh dear, what's the problem? What do we do about it? They go out and they the streets and they walk on their own. There are literally thousands and thousands of people here. It's all fighting for their rights. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm great. You managed to find your way here as well? Yeah, I just followed the music. Yeah, that's it. It's really good fun, isn't it? Yeah, it's good vibe. They're tossing mackerel. Yeah, yeah I know. No. <laughs> You've got to love that. Right, so after all that excitement, we are we found somewhere actually. It's quite quiet. I was expecting it to be a bit busier than that. Anyway, found somewhere to have two iced coffees. We've come back here again because we've kind of liked to do different areas at different points. I mean, if you're any of you are considering van life, it's a really good city to come to. And it's not too harsh with van life. It's as long as I would definitely recommend arriving in the evening and you've got far more chance to find a parking space. But I mean, we're parked right, kind of right in the centre. Right in the centre. Yeah. And today, because it's a strike day, it's free parking. So that's quite, quite handy. It's useful to remember that strike days and Sundays are really good days to come to cities because Sundays, most Sundays are free parking. Yeah. yeah. So if you come in the like late Saturday evening or whatever, late in the evening, then you've got a really good chance of finding somewhere to park. Arrive Saturday night, go Monday morning, you're sorted. But we are going to move on from this and yeah, let me put this to you. Do you think we should go into Italy? We've had lots of conflicting kind of things on not on Italy itself but like on the safety of van life and that but so maybe you, you've got some different ideas yeah, exactly. maybe, maybe you've got some real life experience of it if you've got some really nice park ups that you've parked in before that you think you know what Robin Shard I'd love it there then hit us up in the comments and let us know you know or send us an email we have actually got our email address um, in our bio anyway we're going to enjoy our coffee, which is really weird because we've got a ho we've got a coffee, but it's in a ho garden glass. So we're having a beer, okay, what glass it a comes beer in? coffee. <laughs> we'll see you 
Back at the van. A little bit of a pit stop first though. It's Easter on Sunday and we need to get Amy something. Okay. Easter eggs for Easter, surprisingly. You know. Neither of them are eggs. One's a chicken. We have a caramel rabbit. We're going to go back to the van and we'll see you there. And just like that, we're back at the van. All right, so we've had a good old stroll around, been part of a protest, had a coffee. Oh yeah, we've got chocolates. And some ribbon. Some, bought some ribbon to put it up. And now we're going to have a rest. And then I shall be, it's not really cooking, but putting together a Niçoise salad. Since we're in Nice, it would be rude not to. I've now got to work with a slightly um, misshapen pepper, so that's going to be fun. I've realised I'm supposed to actually have a bigger bowl, but we are in van life, so I can't have 10 sizes of salad bowls, so this will have to do. And actually, this bowl is from my childhood. I used to have my salads out of here. So it's nice to have taken something. I found it in the attic, and I thought, I'm going to bring that with me, because it's a good size for van life, but not for an East West salad. This is Charlotte trying to be artistic. It's kind of going all right. What you can be the judge. You can be the judge. <laughs> if I had a bigger surface to work on and I wasn't grabbing things from various areas, then I might have more chance and success at being successful, at being artistic. I'm hungry, I just want to eat, to be fair. Tom, I am flipping starving. Come on, let's get on. As you can see from the mirror and the calendar, we are at a slight angle. We're kind of like, <laughs> yeah. hence why when I'm cooking, everything was running off the surface. You learn to adapt in van life. Well, we are parked on the side of a road in the center of Nice right yeah. now. So, yeah. Oh, well, I'll take the location for the inconvenience of being at an angle. Anyway, I'm starving. So uh, let's tuck in to see if my plate ends up on Charlotte's lap in a second. <laughs> and I end up crying in the corner in the bed <laughs> that I'll roll automatically off on the other side. There is a bit of a war that goes on at night because I sleep on that side of the bed and I sleep on that side of the bed and Charlotte sleeps on this side of the bed. So she's always rolling over towards me because of the angle. I'm not stupid. Neither am I. I put lots of cushions there to make sure I don't carry them on. <laughs> but then the dogs are often there anyway, so they kind of act, act as a somewhat kind of buffer. We're all good. So the dogs get squashed in between us as well. Anyway, let's eat. Just finished a yummy dinner. Time to do the less yummy washing up. Happy days. And um, as you can see behind, behind us, us, it was laundry day today as well. We managed to get that in, squeeze it in today. So, you know. Laundry hanging up everywhere. And she now wants me to put some hooks up, up here. as actually hangers to hang stuff up, which actually mm. isn't such a bad idea, no. to be honest. Um, but we're gonna move on either tonight or tomorrow morning. Not no. entirely sure where, because we've got some options. We're gonna decide what we wanna do tonight, um, but you will find out in the morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, um, we're sitting in the cab and don't know what to do, don't know where to go, don't have a clue. I mean, there's one place I was thinking about going that we might go and check out, but uh, yeah, I think the chances of us it's finding Easter a weekend, space it's going to be a little just, tight. Uh, no. We should have stuck to our original plan, which was leaving last night, but... Yeah, <laughs> kind of should have. So sitting in the cab, we are hoping to inspire ourselves with what to do 
I'm not feeling it. <laughs> I'm not feeling it at the moment. I could do with staying here, to be fair, because it's just easy. <laughs> so, uh, let's just go. Let's just go. Well, we're just going past uh, Ville Franche, which is a beautiful, beautiful place. The scenery here is absolutely incredible. And you've got these lovely mountains in the background. There's a backdrop to it. It's just absolutely stunning. I mean, literally, your head is like, whoa! It's just... And the colors, you know the colors. This is what it's all about here is the colors, you know? Anyway, I hope you're starting to get excited about your holidays. Holiday season's coming up, so I hope you've got a holiday booked, whether it's in a van or a plane or a hotel or whatever you've got coming up because it is just beautiful to travel and go and see new places. All right, well, fun times. A bit disappointed because there are no spaces here. Such so as the joy of turning up at midday. Yeah, never a good lesson, idea. Nope, lesson learned. So I'm just gonna go and have a little look around anyway because it looks absolutely beautiful here and show you around. And then we're gonna go for a little cruise and see what we can find. Sometimes that's the best way of doing van life is just to drive around and see what you can find. Anyway, be back in a minute. This is where the 1% live. Oh, that's mine, Villa Charlotte, there you go. Villa Charlotte. See? But do they have a different view every day? No. All right, well, that was actually really quite a cool drive. It was, it was unexpected. <laughs> so where do we look next? It was literally we were like this. Even oh. the gates were impressive. Some of the gates were just like pieces of artwork, weren't they? Mm -hmm. I mean, incredible. Absolutely incredible. But there was nowhere to park down there at all. Not Couldn't surprise. find a single space. Did see a bus stop, which I thought, I don't think anyone around here is going to need a bus stop. No, I don't think they will. Maybe their, <laughs> Maybe staff, their, staff, their, staff, yeah, their staff might, might need. But we have managed to find a space here. Um, do you know where we are? No, actually I don't. Um, I'll have to look on the, on, a, on the map to see if there are any walks to get down to the... Oh, even if we just get out down to the not. sea to take these three little toads because we do have gg anyway we're going to get our stuff together mm -hmm. and little, um little look round yeah looks pretty, see what's about yeah so what we like to do there's no specific agenda agenda no you know as much as we do so let's go well we could have a what could we have could have a whole bottle of wine that would shake things up a bit <laughs> it doesn't take a bottle of wine for you love <laughs> One glass and she's anybody's. path we kind of wanted to walk on um, it's a sentier so it's kind of like literal or so on a like a coastal walk and the trees and that look pretty cool here so let's go is proving to be a bit of a problem. The path was really smooth when we started off so that's all great and then now it's kind of like boulders. Yeah it kind of deteriorated relatively oh. quickly didn't it? Yeah. So the, the pram is not really coping too well with it. Anyway we shall continue. Oh very James Bond down there.
This is great, due to the bumpy road, we lost our cups out the bottom of the pram. <laughs> we can't Notice. find them. <laughs> but, on the upside, we do have Snickers bars, so. This is just such a peaceful place to be. Lapping water, some boats, people chilling out in their boats just out here. It's just great, just absolutely love it. But, all good things come to an end and it's time for us to get back to the van now. I don't know what we're going to do when we get back to be honest. We've explored this quite well. We went into town yesterday as well. So anyway, we'll catch up with you when we get back to the van. Well that was a bit of a slog all uphill. But hopefully the dogs are going to have a, a really good sleep now. It's nap time, or it better be. Anyway, so we're just going to chill here for a bit what and decide what we want to do later. Well, we have found out some information about where we're parked and the significance of this place in regards to real estate. So Charlotte, as Charlotte likes to do, is pick up Google and investigate things. The footprint of this van could be worth like 500 grand or something like that just the it's square meterage space. of what we're parked on here so charlotte's been doing some research so what did you find out about this place charlie well it's a pen well, peninsula it's saint jean cap ferrara and it's actually in between nice and monaco and it's the playground for the billionaires kind of the top one percent off the one percent it's home to the most expensive property ever sold went for around 200 million euro back in 2019 there was an asking price of around 300 million so um someone got a bargain <laughs> but one thing i will say and it's something that i'd noticed was it feels a little bit soulless here and actually now i know why it's because people in general there are people that live here but in general there are summer homes that are used for a month maybe two months at the most of the year so that would explain that f slightly empty feeling here. A lot of the villas are actually like holiday lets, like £100,000 a week. A day. Yeah, probably. So again, that lends to the feeling of a slightly empty. But it's a little bit less empty because we're here. Yeah. And we, so feel, we, take our up our, we now have to take up our space. Yeah. And we, and we lived here. We stayed the night here. <laughs> Um, we're not going to stay another night here. Anyway, so let's go and see what we can see. We're really excited now. We are on a motorway. We're heading back towards Saint-Tropez because... Drum roll! Ooh, hands off wheel. No, not a no. good idea. We are going to a campsite for the first time in seven months. Seven months. We're going there to meet Amy. We have arrived. The reception that's closed. Oh fuck, it does. Mm -hmm. Well let's just see if we can get him. Well we can but, try and go through the door. Oh my numbers. Would you, would you reckon she would have given her a number? She might have done. Well that would be cool if she had. But she wouldn't know our number. Nope, yep, oh yeah she does. Yes she has. Right, Good no. girl. Oh god where is she? Fucking okay, no. hell. Uh, we need to call her. Oops. We're actually using uh, Live 360. Live 360 to try and find out. Oh, is that her? That's she's over there. I can see her. Band. I can see her. She's got a light on. On that one. He's a mummy. He's a mummy. <laughs> Gate just opened. Had you so given that number, give number plate? Yeah. Well, we've settled in, so that's good. We have the good fortune of arriving on karaoke night at the campsite, <laughs> so that's lovely. Joy. That's joy. So we're just going to chill out tonight. Um, have well, we've already had dinner. We had British baked beans, egg, and mushrooms, and that was pretty splendid. Yeah, couldn't summon the energy to do anything else, so we're fed, mm. and the dogs are fed. It's Easter Sunday tomorrow, so we're going to do an Easter egg hunt at this campsite. So that should be fun. So we'll see you in the morning for that. Happy Easter, Happy everybody! Easter. Happy Easter. And as you can see, we've got a little guest here today. And I'm actually bigger than both of you. 
You are. You should well, you be are. sitting here and I should be sitting in the middle. Yes, you should. So, yes, we're going to do an Easter egg hunt today. Usually it starts off with a little bell. It has <laughs> a bit of history. When the Easter yes. bunny had been. So, yeah, we're, we're just going to go and hide everything and then we are going to do our little hunt. Well, exactly. like my eggs are basic to yours. In well, mum's kind of. Basified because I, I, I yeah, pimped mom, them. Yeah, mum's kind of pimped oh, them. Oh, you pimped them? Okay. Yeah, good. She's just, yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. You can see how nice Charlotte's made them. What are we going to do? with it i know i'll hide it over here in a bush that's number one hidden and here's number two so let's put that oh shit and what about these ones is there one each no they're both mine they're marzipan you don't like marzipan i do like marzipan well they're mine that looks pretty sneaky she'll never find that i can't even describe how good these are there is chocolate eggs one there there we go batty roof rack oh no it's gonna melt it's gonna be so damn obvious but okay there we go no one can see anything there are no easter eggs here all of yours are on my pitch so oh. we should probably just switch pitches should we switch pitches okay let's do a pitch switch have a great time you're bound to miss something i will hey i found one so happy what do we have we have a kinder bueno i'm excited i found you yes you're very exciting too but not quite as exciting as chocolate we're gonna pop those there hello conehead we got some marzipan pigs so charlotte's found one oh i think we're not cool. actually sure what is it Looks to just have golden egg. <laughs> down there. No, I've seen something far more interesting. Oh, wow. No, you're not getting it. It's mine. It's mine. It's an egg. I oh, know you got another one. Hard boiled egg. <laughs> ah, I found something. Ha. Ah. Ooh, macarons. How many are we supposed to be looking for? How many things? Eight. Eight. Oh. That sounds like a guess. Yeah, it is a guess. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I think we've gathered everything of ours up. Uh, she's going up on the roof. She, maybe we should... I found three. Get, oh, you found that one? Yeah. Oh, that was my little sneaky one. Right, well, you're very cold at the moment. Getting warmer. Go, you get really hot, really hot. I found, <laughs> I found a weird bunny. Oh, that's not so good. It's I appreciate it's the effort. Getting hot, getting hot, getting really, really hot. Boiling hot. Boiling hot. That's so <laughs> cheating. I special cockerel. Oh, they smell so good. Oh, uh, oh there's God. one more left. There's the little mini egg where things. Did put, where did I put them then? You just hit them. I know, I don't know where I put them. Bro. Right, I'll tell you what, this is always fun when you've actually hidden something and you can't remember where you've hidden it. Here you go. How did you not see those, Emmy? I cannot see You spent see all things. that time. I'm so blind. Okay, well. We have a nice amount of chocolate to be getting on with, and um, and, and, yeah. and, and, our and mystery. whatever this is, this, this is, is a mystery substance. I bought it, and I'm a little bit scared now. But anyway, we shall see you next week, and um, probably a little bit fatter than you've seen us now. We so. might not fit on the screen. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to get a new camera with a wide angle wide lens angle. or something. Yeah. So, yeah, we've had a really, really good few days, and we've really, really enjoyed <coughs> it. We're at this campsite for a couple of days, which is absolutely amazing. <coughs> so, yeah, we'll see you next week. Take care. See you next week. Bye bye. <laughs>